Coming back from the Olympic break, we're going to have Richmond, and we're going to have two different sets of tires. Jordan <laughs> and NASCAR's announced this. There's going to be two sets of the option tires, which will be the tires that will wear out quicker. They will have two sets of those for the race. You've got to use a prime set. They'll have six prime sets. One of those will have to be used for qualifying. But then beyond that, the only requirement is all four tires have to be the same kind. But you can use the other, the option tires at any point during the race. You don't have to use them during the race. It's going to be, they, they tried this at North Wilkesboro in the all-star race. I don't know that they really got a good read on this, but I, you know what? Why not give it a shot? I like it. I, I'm, I'm in favor of, figuring out ways to make the competition better. And let's just be honest, the, the racing at Richmond has not been great the last few years. It needs a little bit of enhancement, if you will. And this is another tool in the crew chief's toolbox to use that. I think if there's fall off, and that's going to be the key thing is with the soft compound, is there enough fall off and differential between what the prime tire is and the softer compound tires? It sounds like the softer tires can go about 15 laps before they fall off. If that's the case, that really is going to really make it challenging for the crew chiefs on when you employ these. Do you keep one in your arsenal until the last you know, 50 laps of the race? Or do you try to manage it for maybe an end of a stage? How do you do this? Because you got to remember, too, Richmond has a lot of green flag runs traditionally. And so if that's the case, you really can't go to a softer compound because the disadvantage is going to be significant after about 15, 20 laps or so. Pete, how do you feel about it? Well, I like the idea, and I like the fact that NASCAR is trying things. And I think NASCAR said, what, two, three months ago, no more tinkering with the car. They're not going to do anything more to it in terms of changing the underbelly and the diffusers and all those kinds of things, the sprakes on the on the front of the race cars. They're going to look at the tires. And certainly we've seen a couple of times this year where the tires have made the racing that much better. I, I'm glad they're trying this. There might be three options, by the way. Let's hope now. We could have the wet weather <laughs> tire there true. as well. Yeah, that's true. That's what's happen, right? But uh, Jordan's right, and and here's the bottom line. Richmond has a – lately, this current Richmond has these long green flag runs. And so if you're going to have these long green flag runs, why would you put those softer tires? They're going to burn up as quickly as they, they do. Now, maybe down the stretch, if there's an overtime or something like that, that's where they'll come into play. But, I mean, the bottom line is good for NASCAR, good for Goodyear for trying these kinds of things. Whether or not it works or not, we're going to have to see, you know, we talk about Richmond a lot, you know, bring out the bear grease. Why do, why am I, why are we all saying that? They're not, not doing it to put the sealer on it like they used to. That seems to be the answer, but they're, right now they're going to do what they're going to do with the tire. And it's going to be interesting to make those decisions here when we get there. And again, I don't see anybody really doing it. That's, you know, the, we did it in the all-star race a few years ago. Nothing happened there because everybody did the same thing. Got a little bit of a read at North Wilkesboro, sort of the same idea. So unless teams can really be opposites of one another and we see the difference between the two if the circumstances kind of lay out that way, that to me is going to be the bottom line of whether or not this works at, the, at Richmond when we come back, come back from that Olympic break. Yeah, I, I think, Jordan, what we're going to see is if we have a caution come out with like 15 to go, Oh yeah, I, I think you're going to see leaders dive onto pit road and put these softer tires on and, and go. If they have one sitting in the box and that's going to be really interesting because you get these two sets so if you don't have one sitting in your stall and someone else does well then guess what they now have the advantage do you you know if you're a crew chief and you say okay we're going to take the chance that this you know we're going to get an overtime or we're going to get a caution with 15 20 to go and then we're going to have that tire the soft tire to go to that's great if you get that caution but if you don't you're leaving richmond with a set of soft tires in your back pocket they didn't use and then you might be you know, on the other end of that as well. So it's going to be interesting. I, I like it just because I don't think you can do anything at Richmond that's going to make the product worse. And I don't mean to be disparaging in that way. It's just not been great racing there. That's just the reality of the situation. This is a worthy experiment. It didn't work at North Wilkesboro. There wasn't enough fall off. You know, there was a new track surface, not enough fall off. NASCAR also mandated kind of when teams used it. You know, you start the race on this, and then you go to this. Forget that. They're letting the crew chief dictate when you do this, hell, there might be a team that says, we're going to start the race on these things. We're gonna, we, we qualified poorly. We start in the back. We're going to put these tires on at the beginning and try to get our track position back, and then we'll figure it out from there. I just think it's fascinating, and it adds another wrinkle on the strategy front that is sorely missing. That's, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Is yeah. If you qualify poorly, it gives you a chance, Pete, to, to flip your track position. 
Well, that's the thing. And with this race car, I mean, I think there's a lot of benefits to this car. But one of the things we hear time and again is when you get to the track, you're basically married to your setup, right? And crew chiefs don't have as many things in that toolbox that they can use to try to get better. This is one more option to do that. So, yeah, if you do qualify poorly and you were all talking about track position, maybe you do roll the dice, especially some of these other teams we just talked about in the earlier segment that need to win a race to make the playoffs. There's something that you have at your disposal to try to maybe make up some of that track position. So, again, I like the idea. Anything you can put more in these crew chiefs' hands and have them sort of figure things out and play a little strategy, which I think has kind of gone away in this era we're in right now, I'm all for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, to Jordan's point, Richmond has been one of those tracks where it hasn't been the best racing. I think this will give it an option to be a little bit better, at least on the strategy side. And hopefully when we come back for the break, people are going to want NASCAR after being gone for two weeks. We know that. Hopefully that'll be a good race to come back on that Sunday night. I just like that they're putting it out there with basically a full field. I mean, that's one of the things where I've liked that they've, with the all-star race, where they've tried things with the all-star race. And because you can go out and you can test all you want with four or five cars, but you're not going to get an accurate read on things with only four or five cars out there. Go out there, test it with a full field. It's not a playoff race. Yeah, a playoff spot potentially is on the line. But I like that they're going to go out there and try this thing. They've tried it in the All-Star race. It wasn't a disaster. It didn't hurt things. So why not give it a shot? They Hey, the double file restart came out of the All-Star race. Sure. Overtimes, too. I mean, there, there's a lot of things that have come from the All-Star race that have been implemented in points racing that have made the product better. We'll see. This is going to be interesting to see where this goes because if this goes well... We talk about the playoff schedule. While we have two tracks in the playoffs, Martinsville and Phoenix, where these this tire could be employed if it goes well. I don't know if NASCAR wants to go down that road for the playoffs, but if Richmond is a success and they're happy with this, I wouldn't put it past them because, like Pete talked about, you need to make the short track racing product better. And if this tire is the answer to that, well, then so be it because that's what you need at Martinsville to make it better than what we've seen in the last few years, then it has to happen. Same with Phoenix, even if it's a championship. Or, Pete, like you said, throw the rain tires in there. Or, sorry, <laughs> with the wet weather tires in there. We have three choices. Why not? I mean, poor Goodyear. How many tires do they have to bring when we have this? <laughs> but, but, you know, again, if it works, I don't care if it's the playoffs. You know, yeah. what George just said, make it, just bring it in. If it works, it gives another option. It's the same for everybody. You yeah, can use sure. them. You cannot use them. So, if it works, why not bring it into the playoffs? I'm on board with that.